So, so, what is your favorite attorney Wu ship? Okay, is it Wu Young Wu? What? Yeah, it's okay. Wu Young Wu with Lee Jun Ho, of course, the main one. Then it is uh, Attorney Kang and his ex-wife, right? It's hmm. Tae Soo Mi, Attorney Attorney Jung, sorry. Yeah, Jung was the other one who was mean. No, Attorney Jung is the mentor. Yeah, Attorney Jung and his ex-wife, Tae Soo Mi and uh, Young Woo's dad, or <laughs> this ship with demand with no supply, which is what's the dude name? Choi Soo Yeon and Attorney Kwon. Can I? Do I have an option to enter my own ship? Okay, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I am going for Gure Guremi and Harry's pub owner person. I don't know his name. Okay. I think there should be a third ship. I think that there is definitely has been a love triangle at some point between Attorney Han and who's who Young Wu's dad. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. right, right, no, exactly. Yeah, 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 and I think. Yeah. Mm, I think that should work itself out at some point. I feel like I don't know how I feel about the dad having like love interests anymore after knowing what I know. So I don't mm. think I want him to have it. Yeah. Like he's too pressuring into the women. But we'll get into the, that and like everything else that we have experienced after watching Attorney Wu in this special episode of Nuna Talk. I'm Zara and I am actually very moved by Attorney Wu. I'm Sophia and not only am I moved, I'm so excited because we're already renewed for season two. We are Nuna Talk, a weekly podcast where we talk about K-pop, K-drama, K-culture, K-beauty, everything, especially if you're a Desi stan. We are here on YouTube, so subscribe to our channel for our weekly podcast episodes. But we also do reactions to MVs, to episodes, K-dramas. K- come watch all of that. You can also follow us on Instagram, where we are at Nuna Talk. And we do funny reels. We do Instagram giveaways. We also do K-drama reviews fairly often now, <laughs> since I have time <laughs> on my hands to watch all of these. Um, and we're on all, all podcasting uh, platforms, so you don't just have to watch the video. You can also just listen to us on the go. And today we are, like we said, doing a special episode on Attorney Who. We have done one episode of K-drama or K-flop, which is a series that we do where we check out the first episode of a K-drama and decide whether it is worth watching or is it a flop. And you should check out our Attorney Who part one, which we did after watching the first First episode, I watched the first. I think you watched maybe one. No, but we watched the first episode together. I just continued watching after. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now that the show has come to its end after 16 episodes, I feel, I felt that there was so much. It was one of the first uh, K-drama, K-flop series that we both saw and we both followed. (laughs) And it was standing on you too. Yeah, did you finish? You did. But I think also it's also news and there's, there's so much conversation around it. It's not, there's so many things to talk about. There's so many things to pick out. I think it left a big impact. So may, we thought maybe we should do another episode discussing the rest of the K-drama. So let's get into that. It's a way get- okay. First things first, did you have a favorite episode? Like a favorite case maybe? Okay, or what's a favorite case? Not just episode. Uh, my favorite case was definitely the one where the woman was uh, given voluntarily uh, told to resign, was told to like, was forced to voluntarily resign. Mm. I think it was a very big, co- like a lot of the episodes of Attorney Wu did this where it was all conversation based, like, you know, uh, yeah, living highlighting music. social causes. I don't think they went about all of them in the right way. And I don't think some of them were the right message yeah. to send, but this one I really did like um, I, I think, think the way- but I do appreciate even whether the message was right or wrong I think there was definitely an effort made for it to be a theme a conversation starter exactly at, yeah. at, at, at some point like, I think we're bear- talking about the second last case yeah because I think the last no third last 
third last the young the river dolphin the gender discrimination okay that's the 12th episode yeah episode 12 yeah that was the mm-hmm. one that i really enjoyed because it was a, of course a lot to do with sexism but a lot of things with ageism which we don't really talk about especially mm-hmm. in asia where you do get aged out of roles and it's a really common thing to happen is just not something that's talked about and i liked that as, as an episode what was your favorite that's case true. um my favorite case i think was the no- north korean defector mother case i think that was a very interesting uh, for me it wasn't just a case that was interesting but the way the role of the mother how she ran away like it it was like you couldn't point any fingers because everyone was kind of the victim there like the person who borrowed money from her was a domestic abuse victim she and the other person who threatened the person both of them were north korean defectors who were like they lacked money and they wanted their money back the other person who did serve her sentence just you know ended up doing that and i think she ratted her out i'm not sure about that then uh, she ran away with her child because she felt that because it was an infant maybe when she left a grown up child the child would remember her so after three or four years she admits to her crime and then does her wants to do her sentence it, it was it, it a was a really hard episode to watch like yeah it was yeah it was very right. emotional but it picked on so many things like the one doctor who did the uh, like his opinion was taken he was anti north koreans coming into korea and using the resources like there were so many themes that touched upon i think that was a very interesting one but what are some other ones that you can pick out of the top of my head i'm thinking of the autistic um, the other autistic person whose brother killed himself but he was blamed for his for the murder, murder. Yeah. yeah that um, was interesting that was a very interesting episode i thought the hmm. one with the children was very interesting as well where the like with asian kids there i mean it's i think it's just a whole thing now but like especially in asia there's so much pressure to be like a good hmm. Study. Yeah. Um. And how that's just not very good for development overall. So hmm. that was very I interesting. Think. I think there were some cases that were very boring. Yeah. And I think what they did very smartly in this show was when the very boring episodes or when the very basic episodes were happening, they were kind of in the background. While yeah. The and then the first story. Became the whole part. Yeah. I think one more before we get into other things one more interesting uh, case was the final episode I think the data breach and the data security mm. one I found so that so relevant yeah it's so relevant e- e- the relevant one I think was also the highway one but that was so boring to me like that case did not deserve yeah, two no. episodes but they used it very well to do the han bada tesan uh, yeah rivalry showing but yeah i think the data breach was a good one even the other one where the disabled no no the was she disabled yeah the girl who was disabled who had sex her, yeah, yeah it was considered was yeah. like yeah 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 that Those was also were... really well done i that's hmm. what i mean like a lot of the cases were very interesting topics hmm. um something of course with any law procedural that is the biggest challenge right you have to make the case itself interesting but they didn't just yeah. say murder hua kaise murder hua it's not a yeah hooda. yeah none, none of that hooda. it was yeah. very like conversations and th- where things were always very morally gray not always hmm. but like a lot of the times it was morally gray where like there's there no people. good or bad or right or hmm. wrong it's always like a very I, human experience hmm. which i did enjoy hmm. uh out of the show like that's something i really did look forward to every time yeah so those were the shows what were some overarching themes that you enjoyed in the show it was like young who being an an attorney on the autistic spectrum and the of interactions course. around yeah. her Do i you think, think like, uh, people i i think i said this in the first episode as mm-hmm. well or maybe i didn't and i eventually talked about it to you personally um mm-hmm. where i was like people aren't nice people mm-hmm. aren't nice and they're yeah. showing this very romanticized version of people bending mm. over backwards and yes they do get frustrated but they're still very yeah. accommodating to her and i did appreciate i remember we talked about this yeah mm. and i do appreciate that in the later episodes because jung was an attorney jung wasn't around and they they had to be shifted under a different mentor and attorney jung mm. did not have 
the patients to deal with her that was yeah. a much more realistic approach yeah like i think that, we did discuss it how- yeah we did discuss it in the previous episode about the role of realistic versus uh fantasy wish fantasy and like what is the role wish, and yeah. wishful thinking right and like where does it come because at the end of the day it is kind of a wishful thing for somebody of of like that disability to be at the level where who is and been given the opportunities to do so of course like a lot of it is fictional but you should check out our previous episode because we do discuss that a lot more but yeah i think it was interesting to see for me uh, personally i think it was kind of nice to see the support structure around her because while it is wishful it is not really present in media as often as usually like a very struggle and negative base and i think with a lot of margin uh, with a lot of content around marginalized communities marginalized people it's always about the struggle and it's always That's a breath true. of fresh air to not see the struggle to see them flourish because like it's so fictional why can't this one thing also be fictional which was hmm. nice the friends. but i do appreciate that they showed both sides Yeah, like, yeah, it wasn't just wasn't some just ideal world where nobody now. cared. Yeah, there were some judges who would get frustrated. They showed her school life where she would get bullied. Then they did show the attorney who didn't have the patience for her, and they also showed this other. Uh, I think the way they used what is his name is Kong, right? Or Kwon? Should like. Oh yeah, he was Kwon. He's attorney Kwon. I think they used attorney Kwon's character really well, where he's working with her. He is technically accommodating her with everything, but he's also harboring a sense of um, resentment. Yeah, it's resentment, right? Where he's just like, yeah. Oh, at it's the end of the day, this is still a ha. Huh, this is still a competition, and he has yeah um, that mindset where he's like, you know, why should she get it? Why should she get away with it when we're all given the same opportunities? To a point where he tells the other attorney, where he's like, hey, listen, people are she's brilliant in what she does. so eventually people won't be able to question her but we are not as brilliant as she is so we should look out for each other i think that was a very interesting character to put in and they showed it as a trajectory it wasn't like one dimensional it was a that mix. was something which was very true i think other than juon juon whatever his name is ah uh, juno juno okay the other than juno yeah everybody else was very fleshed out as a character they all had their own hopes dreams ambitions they all had their own individual arcs that were independent of what attorney who was going through hmm. which i think was very important yeah. um that's what makes a good show right like the, it's not just hmm. about one person other than you know yeah i think his character definitely lagged substance and background for me i kept waiting for it where i was like what is his background what is it about him what are his motivations like we didn't understand I character like motivations you, i know you said this we we did discuss this and you said this uh, earlier as well and i was thinking about it we don't know any of the other characters background no like, but even, why, we don't even know why is there a, even a rivalry between hanbada person and tesumi person no because they are like the main biggest like their comp- it's a competition right they're the biggest yeah, uh, but it feels biggest. like it's be- rooted in something that definitely sure, happened in sure. college could be but that's still like i think that's still fine we know surface level of things but with other people like we know something about the best friend where her fa- father comes from a poor background and you know he struggled and she was the bad like she was the bad ass kid and they had that we don't we know about the ma- main attorney uh, kang jung no okay. i'll just do badly with names the mentor attorney who's nice we know jung. that he attorney jung where he Give his Hat. life away. He has now he has cancer. He has a wife. Like so many things, the little little things we do know about some of them. We that don't know about. We really don't know anything. Look, and he's such a pivotal character. Like he's the main love interest of our major character. Why don't we know anything about him except the fact that he has a sister who doesn't approve of him having mm-hmm. like even things like his friends who were initially like lol lol. Like it was very. It was so surface level. I don't think. again the mm-hmm. character motivations were lacking whereas i feel like for other supporting like directly supporting attorney who characters all the motivations were very clear ha you're right i feel like with juno 
you know there was nothing there there was not like i like it's kind of just felt like that relationship was based off of them both enjoying sea life and that's fine like didn't... Didn't base that oh. but it didn't feel like it was that important a factor for him versus the way it is for her it was just like you know how like he was I just going like, along yeah like, why does he like her what yeah. is it and they did give flickers of him having an opinion in their relationship i think later on when he like beach beach he would get frustrated but it was only at the end and then it also just gets resolved i feel like there needs to be more depth in his character mm-hmm. and i hope that because this is not just our criticism this is a lot of other people's criticism oh is it yeah so i hope in season 2 they do build on that yeah what do you want for the characters like is there a particular character is there one something you want them to develop on more i want more of the flashbacks i think that was really interesting when we saw the mm. why tesumi didn't end up keeping a tony wu i think that was a very important storyline i yeah. think like i said before i think there's more to the story there this whole mm. like love triangle maybe that they're hinting at why is this other person who was technically a junior at the law college with them involved yeah involved and like to build such a for the lack of a better word shadyantra where she i mean it is but it is political rivalry child. no but it is political rivalry right because attorney uh, sorry tesumi was going to become the minister of whatever justice minister justice yeah so i think i believe and they, is like attorney general level yeah and they are like rival um, the rival big family like it's chebol rivalry right because hmm. they're family based like yes it just felt like i i feel you could like have built like... more on it huh. i don't think there's more in terms of story i think that is the core of the rivalry but they could have showcased more of the rivalry versus yeah like it feels like a you know if she just if it was just a rivalry like she didn't have to go out of her way to hire a tony who she could have just no kept that as information that the illegitimate mm-hmm. child is around but she no but she wanted to use it as yeah no i mean it, it's true i i don't think there's more to it i do think there is a love triangle there so like that feels very legit and i, I understand like, yeah, yeah. i want the way they mm-hmm. wrapped season 1 was so well done yeah um, i think like the last two episodes i was like this is so much how are they going to wrap it up but they did and yeah. they did it and they did it in a very good that way yeah ha huh. i think one of the problems that i have with any sort of like series finales or season finales is that it gets very emotional it gets very messy where you're just trying to tie up the loose ends so you're like resolution mm. resolution very fast this didn't feel rushed i yeah would have been very okay if the juno thing didn't happen i'm fine with that yeah But like other than that everybody else reached a good happy point and we just faded out and it was that and it just ended hmm. um there was no you know overt any shaadi nahi hui kisi ki last <laughs> yeah what a great drama that doesn't end with shaadi i mean i had to give up watching backstreet rookie but i'm sure even that ends with some level of shaadi what is one thing in this season not other season but like the way they did this season what is one thing you would change if you could like one think, major thing that you would just completely change pacing pacing i think um, it wasn't consistent mm-hmm. is what i felt like i i think we talked about this in the first episode i said I, it was very well paced but that was very specific of the first episode and a couple of others after that where i've been pretty happy with how it's flown but mm-hmm. some of them i felt like they um they had a story like it's 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 so hard right when you take a story in your mind and put it on film hmm. it doesn't always translate the same way and i feel, feel like some scenes some parts just really dragged on and didn't need to yeah yeah and i don't just mean boring cases even very interesting cases as well like there were just hmm. parts that could have been cut shorter and been a little crisper so that the hmm. pacing was better whereas uh, which was very true in the first episode um, about- for me i feel like one thing i would change is the the way they made all the friends meet the office friends and then everyone just became friends yeah. i think that was so random just like just you know like in like fix 
इट हैपन्स वेल लाइक ओके ऑल ऑफ अस विल पार्टी एट माय एवरीथिंग से सब लोग मिल गए लाइक नाउ वी आर ऑल फ्रेंड्स या या आई थिंक आई थिंक इट वाज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग द वे हैरी एंड तो गोरेमी को the remi became friends with the attorney the main attorney and i think that was an interesting friendship there but i think generally they just kind of normalized everyone just hanging out together and everyone hanging out in their pub and all of that and i think it was very rushed and it was very random and it could have not could have been more staggered more random you know this is my friend like there was just just happened and yeah i me, feel it, like it, it was done that is definitely in an attempt yeah. to be like a turny who central character and these are all like satellites around valid but but it it didn't it wasn't executed well yeah it really wasn't it was rushed and then suddenly they're all just hanging out together and everything's great i think that's one thing i have issues with a lot of fix and i think i have an issue with this where if there is heat between characters like if there's something going wrong if there's friction it doesn't get resolved on its own that's not realistic like that is the one point of realism that i will hold on to where things just don't suddenly become okay and you're not suddenly friends so i think that's about that yeah um i did you watch all of attorney who let us know in the comments below and if you could add one thing in season 2 what would it be because i think yeah. we've talked about quite a lot <laughs> <laughs> i think we talked about season 2 more than we talked about this season season 1 yeah mm-hmm. um, but yeah let us know what you want in season 2 in the comments below or and you can also dm us on instagram at nuna talk where you can we can have longer discussions about attorney who as of two whole episodes weren't enough <laughs> and if there's any k drama you think we should check out whether old or new let us know in the comments let us know on our dms because we are always on the lookout to check out something a uh, new we were nuna talk and we will be back next week with a new episode bye bye bye